Yeah, wait, is, is the mic on? Is the mic? Yeah, it is on. Okay. Now we are live from the quarantine. And uh, it is gratitude month. Before we get into our speed strength workout and our, our mobility flow and our 75 rep challenge, which you've all been studying for the test, so you're ready for it. We're going to have a fun 75 rep challenge this morning. We're going to go over gratitude. So I posted, and some of you aren't on Facebook, I posted a little, uh, uh, a little meme or a diagram of how your thoughts become chemical hormones. Uh, and they, uh, your thoughts become, uh, uh, your thoughts have physical man manifestation inside of your body. That works for the bad and negative thoughts, and it also works for the good and positive thoughts. So gratitude, filling us up with good and positive thoughts, also creates physical good and positive hormones. We're going to get into that today in our hormone, in our hormone webinar lecture. What it, EduCast. EduCast. That's it. I heard a good one. So we're doing an EduCast. Be hearing from her lawyer. That's right. That's good. So, uh, but before we get into that, I want to hear about your gratitude and your gratitude and your gratitude and your gratitude. So let's start with Robert Long. Tell me about your gratitude, Bob. I was very happy to have a bed to sleep in last night. Bob got some good sleep last night. He was very happy to have a comfortable bed. <laughs> but what did you use it for for sleep? Never mind. Sorry, I didn't need to do that. Comfortable bed. Fair enough. I'm just happy. Absolutely. I'm happy Rob's here too. Happy to be in the dojo, getting the getting the pump on, getting the good sweat going, catching the vibe. Sharing the love. That's right, Jasmine. Friends and family. Hear, hear. Feeling the love from the community. Bootsy. Bootsy is grateful for healthcare and Reba, Reba's healing powers. So if you don't know, Reba can heal you. She lays on hands and you just, you just, it, it she, she doesn't possess, she's just a channel for the power. It's not her power, she's just a channel. Uh, and I, I am so grateful uh, for so many things. Uh, I, I, I should post my gratitude jar uh, more often because I've got so many good things to write about. But this very morning, I'm grateful for friendship because I uh, uh, had some belated uh, birthday shenanigans with some good friends uh, last night and just made me happy as a clam. Can't stop. Can't, can't stop uh, singing the praises of, uh, of my friends and all the people I'm lucky to have in my life. So just feeling, feeling the love. Yeah, Heather. Heather, what are you grateful for? Um, I'm grateful for my neighborhood, which is like really easy to walk in and beautiful shape And I get to like it, walk every day. Um, yes, and I used to take it for granted, but now it's my only like, indoor exercise. So I appreciate 
appreciate it. Oh, that's, that's great for neighborhood. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Stila? I don't think Stila is standing in, near her computer right now. No audio. Don't worry about it. We're going to do jumping jacks. All right. I got the first five. You got the second five. If you're following a lot at home, you can jump, you can do squats. Just keep moving. Go! One, two, three, four, five! One, two, three, four, five! One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Second set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, whoop, seven, whoop, eight, whoop, nine, whoop. Eight. Forgot we were on the third set. My bad, guys. I have to let you down. I do love shouting. Okay, we're taking the 75 rep test today, meaning we got to get our whole bodies nice and warm so that we can do really well on the test. So we're going to loosen up. We're going to do some stretches. We're going to do some mobility work. We're going to activate things. We're going to start on the ground, sitting down. Yeah. So <clears throat> to start us off, we're going to be in the uh, shin box position. That's the uh, 2010 name for a position that used to be called the 90-90. Fun to see things change, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. We are going to have our belly button stick over our lead knee here, so I'm upright, lead butt, uh, belly button's pushing over my lead knee. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep my feet in the same spot, and I'm going to rotate, <laughs> and then that's one switch, I'm going to switch back. So what we're doing is, we're just going back and forth, switching side to side, and we're doing that so that our hips are able to internally and externally rotate. We're just giving them permission to do something they don't do much of during the day. And then when we force them to do it, when we're hiking, we're getting, lifting a heavy object, that's when you get a little, little rupture, a little labral tear. No bueno. We don't want that. So that was our uh, shin, shin box switch. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to, we're going to do a, a, a nice little stretch. So I've got a string coming up my spine, pulling the top of my head high, and I'm pulling myself forward over that lead knee. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the knee back towards me, underneath me, and I'm pulling my chest forward. So I'm trying to keep that straight spine, and I feel a lot of stretch right here. I don't have to go far. Now, if you're a Bootsy or you're a uh, Rob, you might be very flexible. So you might be able to put your chest on the ground. That's not me. So I'm here, I'm breathing, that long spine. Mmm, mmm, good. I'm gonna take one more breath here. And then I'm gonna switch. <laughs> switch it to the other side. Belly button over that lead leg. Again, Pulling that string out the top of my head, leaning forward, 
So you might have a tight side, you might have a side that's not as tight. I'm getting long here. <coughs> uh oh. That's it for me. One more cough and Boots is going to take me out to the woodshed. So I'm, you're breathing here, staying long and tall, and I can feel myself giving way. So my hip wants to relax a little bit and let me, let me stretch. So we want to take advantage of that as much as we can. One more breath, excellent. And then we're going to relax. So we're working on that hips, those hips being loose. We're going to roll into the four point position. There's a lot of good work to be done here. And I'm going to double up my mat because if I have uh, old man knees or old coaching knees, can't tell which, but I'm trying to protect my knees. So I'm going to kneel on a folded up mat, kicking out my foot into the Cossack stretch. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on my feet and stretch those toes a little bit. <laughs> you working out in Converse? You're a hard man. There's nothing in, those are just freaking canvas sewn together. You have, do you have narrow feet? I do have to put it for a while. That's right. He's got ballerina feet now. He's been wearing Converse. I wore, I wore a pair of uh, Converse too. So not even the original ones, but the Nike softer version where it's like yeah. almost like a rig of the shoe. And my foot hurt for an entire year. Like I couldn't get out of it. After 10 reps of stretching that foot and that uh, leg, you're going to lift and tap. So I'm going to lift and tap. 10 reps. Both elbows are going to be locked. But I'm not as tough as Rob is, you see. I'm, uh, oh, that's right. I, I remember that. I remember those days. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> so you're going to the other side. We're opening up the groin and then we're activating the glutes and we're going to do a lot more of that in the four point position too because there's some more hip stuff to be done. We're going to do some cat cows. We're going to do some hydrants. We're going to do some lifting, tapping here of 10 reps. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, how did my leg get so heavy? It's all those squats. 10. Okay, so we're going to loosen up the neck and the shoulders and we're going to uh, work on the hips. So let's start by actually doing a fun one. I'm going to get into a uh, sort of a plank. I'm going to lean over my hand. So I'm going to stretch my wrist. Then I'm going to drop my hip down and I'm going to look up. And so I'm, I'm leaning over my hands and I'm looking up, tucking the chin, looking down. Up, down, just at a breathing pace, not, not in a hurry. Elbows are locked. Now I have a hard time tucking my chin to my chest, so I slow down a little bit when I do that. Now, you're going to reach your butt into the air, and you're going to pedal, opening up those calves. In that butt high, biceps by the ears. Oh, back down, looking up, down, up, down. I'm going to come back into that four point position. So We've stretched out our wrist and our neck. Now we're going to roll the shoulders. So what I'm going to do is shoulder, I'm going to keep my elbows locked. Shoulders come up by the ears. Shoulders come together. Shoulders come down into the pockets. Shoulders go all the way apart. Those are the four positions and I'm going to rotate through them. And I'm going to try and keep my head neutral again like there's a string pulling it, pulling my spine long and I'm going to 
We'll roll through it. Each position. Don't hurry. Don't, do not hurry through this. Go slow. Take your time. How you doing, Rob? Yeah? Get a little kink in the system over there? <laughs> then you're going to reverse the circle. So you're going to go back the other way. Yeah, you feeling some snap, crackle, pop over there? No, I'm getting my arms are burning. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's still a little sore from For yesterday? That's awesome. So, when you're done with that, we're going to do a, uh, a fire hydrant, which is you're lifting out and pausing here for one second. The knee stays bent, Jasmine, at 90 degrees. You're going to pause. The ankle, knee, and the hip should be at the same height as your shoulder. Come back down. We're just going to do five reps here. And on the fifth one, we're going to do 10 circles. So I'm going to lift up, and then I'm going to draw 10 big circles. Notice how my arms want to bend, so I want to make sure they don't bend. And I'm getting all that movement from the from the hip. Ten big circles. Then on the other side, lift and hold for five or five reps, one second. We're not in a hurry. And then 10 big circles. Elbows stay locked, Josh. We don't want to lose our mind. We don't want to go willy-nilly all over the place. <sighs> yeah, yeah. OK, so hips, chest, shoulders, everything's loosened up a little bit. We're going to do some more integrated movements. So we're going to start with the uh, squat. What do you call it? Squat with hamstring bias, I think is how we describe this one. So I'm going to feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to drop down into my squat. I'm going to grip the underneath my toe. So my I'm holding on to my shoes, butt down, chest up, and then I'm going to inhale, reach to the sky, inhale, reach to the sky, exhale, chin to chest, inhale, inhale, and then I'm going to keep that chin to my chest, exhale, lock out the knees, Woo! that's two, get that butt down, Reba. That's good. This is a stretch on the ankles. This is a stretch on the hamstring, especially the lower parts of the hamstring. This is a stretch on the upper back. I have one more. So, yeah. Ha ha. OK. So we're stretching out that lower hamstring. Now we're going to warm the shoulders and the abs. And we're going to do this with a little uh, inchworm, reverse inchworm. So if you know what the inchworm is, back when we used to go crawl the way across the gym, you would crawl out using your hands and the feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down. And I'm going to walk out into a plank. And if you're feeling spry, you do a push up. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my toes up to my hands. And then I'm going to walk my hands back out. And then I'm going to walk my hands to my toes. And then I'm going to walk them back out. And that's one. 
So we're going to go five each way. Opening up those abs. Rob was saying how his shoulders weren't warmed up yet, so I wanted to make sure he actually got some good work on his arms today. Yeah. Thank you, Josh. You are so welcome. Five in and five out. You might feel your heart rate come climbing up. That's okay. That's okay. Some people come here for that. That's what they want. Okay, Jasmine, you owe me three more. Okay, the 75 rep challenge is a test of how quickly you can do very precise movements. So the three movements are the push-up, the mountain climber, and the knee grab. Now, it doesn't matter which order you personally finish in or tackle these movements in. The key is, is that you do as good as many good reps as you can until you reach 70 or 75 total which is 25 of each so the rule is you have to get to 25 push-ups 25 mountain climbers 25 knee grabs people that have been successful have a strategy so if you're not going to be able to tackle them all in one go that's fine you do as many good push-ups you spin over you do as many mountain climbers you spin over, you do as many knee grabs, and you just keep moving and getting all the good reps out that you can until you reach 75 total reps, 25 of everything. So I'm going to do the test with you. So you'll only have about 75 seconds to see the demonstration because I'll be done very quickly. <laughs> but um, a couple of rules. Number one. When in doubt, leave it out. So if you're doing a push-up and you don't know if you're going to be able to get back up without doing the wibble wobble and the we then just stop. Just go over to the knee grab. You're already down there. Just go to the knee grab and get your reps, right? So you're not, if it's, you don't have to finish everything all at once. But if I see nonsense reps, I'm going to call you out, Heather. Stila, I see you, I got cameras. So, push-ups, the knee grab. As long as your shoulder blades hit the ground, and you can get up and grab your shins, you win. That's it, and that's all that it takes to get a good one in. The rep counts when you hit the ground. So this, still zero, that's one. The, the mountain climber, you're gonna be up high. The hips will be at the same height as the shoulders, roughly. I'm gonna bring in my foot, bring in my foot, that's one. Two legs, one rep. Okay, two legs, one rep. So 25, it's really 50 on the mountain climber. But, exactly. All these engineers, they want all the credit for everything they do. Push. So push up. If you're not doing push-ups, you're at home, you don't have anything to push off of, that's fine. You do archers, you give me some archers. So every, every, every time you reach up there, that's one. Just, just make them look good and feel good. So the purpose is training. Well, the purpose is the test, to see where you're at. And then the second purpose is training. Okay, so does everybody understand what we're doing here? So you're going to do as many push-ups, as many knee grabs, as many mountain climbers as you can. Can you, can you, can you do it? Up to 25. Up to 25. When, when you get to 25 of each, that's why you have chalk, you're done. Well, you have, you have time. So write down, if you're going to do them in pieces, write down P, K, M for 
the machine gun that the Russians use in, uh, in the early 90s. Push-ups, knee grabs, and mountain climbers. So you can mark them off. How many you go? What is it? Knee grabs. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I'm gonna have the clock counting down. It'll actually be counting up. I I just say down. All right, warriors. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. I'm an engineer, not a, a mathematician. All right, warriors. We're starting in three, two, and go. Clock's ticking. day every day. Don't stop the rock. Ha ha. Getting warmed up now. might be thinking, but Josh, I'm tired. That's okay to be tired. You just can't act tired. Get that butt down, Robert. There we go. Classy. All day. Every day. Butt down, Riva, butt down. Lean forward over those hands. Lean forward over those hands. Nice, good job, Stila. Good job, Heather. Steve. You don't need to do more than 100 push-ups, man. I think I counted 101. Oh, yeah. Come on, Heather, finish strong. Come on, Booty, finish strong. That's right, drink water when you are finished. Ha, that's right, Heather. That's a big old smile, Heather. That was good. Someone was having a good time on that. We must have been doing different tests. Nice. Francie, when you watch this, 82 seconds, that's the time to beat, 82. See what Emily does as she gets in here tonight. So. You write down your time. Bob's over there checking it out. Now that we are, have calmed down a little bit, we're going to go into our speed strength workout. So you don't need a lot of weight, just a little, some little guys. Yeah, just, that's good. Can you do that on command? Crack your voice. That's good. 
I, 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 when I try, <laughs> sorry, it's not my acting class, guys. This is my coaching class. So <laughs> we're going to do uh, a series of, uh, of exercises, six, seven. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's lucky sevens. We're doing seven, seven exercises, seven reps. The front squat, feet shoulder width apart. Pulling myself down into the hole. So follow along with me at home and just do a few reps. We're just warming up the squat pattern. So give yourself a couple of reps here. Good. Yeah, Jasmine, that's perfect. Perfect rack position. Nice, Reba. Uh-huh. Good job on letting those knees come forward, Reba. Get your feet a little more narrow. <clears throat> there you go. And then the knees can slide forward too. Yeah, good. Push press. Knees are out. I'm going to explode through my hips, driving forward and up, back down, hopping up. Yeah, and on the way down, you're just catching with your legs. Bent row. So I'm pulling up heavy pants, butts all the way back. Squeezing my shoulder blades together. The forward lunge in return. I'm going to come out, almost touch the ground with my back knee, and come right back. So I'm going to do seven on the left, seven on the right. Upright row, standing tall, elbows high, pulling in, pull the dumbbells into my chest. Squat hold to front press. I've got my weights dropping into the squat, pressing out, in, out, in. Nice, Heather. Nice job, Stila. Hammer curls, glutes on. The palms face in the entire time that you're doing your curl. So I'm allowing them to face in. Okay. So we're gonna go seven reps of all the exercises. We're gonna go through as quickly as we can. You're gonna rest. Uh, about 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, no more than that. But you rest enough that you can be explosive. The weight is light. Obviously, you can lift that for a long time. We, we want to be fast. We're trying to increase the rate of force production in speed training. That means we're training our nervous systems. <clears throat> you don't have to keep up with me, but if you want to see somebody doing a perfect set, look no further. Ben Rob. All right, Warriors, first time through. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Ooh, I like these. Takes a long time, but you're trying to be explosive. Right row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Squat hold the front press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Ha! You can feel my heart rate up there. That's good. Tertiary benefit. Woo! Yeah, that's right, Heather. Gets a little, a little bit crazy sometimes. So, I've been resting about 30 seconds. At 30 seconds, you can feel your heart rate change. We're not ready yet, though. We need the nervous system to be ready. So, we're going to continue to rest. Ha! Ah. Haha, I'm coming up on a minute. I'm almost ready. I want to try and go faster this time than I did last time. Well, the key is, Rob, you don't try so hard the first time. You, you, you amp it up as time goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you sandbag it a little bit. All right, Warriors, it's go time for Josh. Second set. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, ha! Get that butt down, Reba. That's right. Push it down, pull it up, Reba. Push it down, pull it up. Fast, fast, fast. Sticking, resting it up. Now, for those of you following along at home who agree, Rob needs to go faster. I'm with you. So I'm going to show you a trick on how you can speed up your circuit. Specifically, how we can speed up. I'm going to show you how to speed up the lunges, Rob. Don't you worry. I'll show you a trick. It's actually not a trick. It's a, uh, it's a progression. So if you're on the lunges and you want to speed it up, you do what we call a power lunge. It means you're going to jump. So you're going to jump from one leg to the next. That means you do 14 jumps. It's a lot of jumping. So if you're of the faint of heart, you, don't worry about it. That's one. That's two. Three. Wipe that look off your face, Heather. You can do it. All right, so if you want to go faster, Bob, you could do a power lunge that will speed up the program. The program will speed up. Speaking of speed, my rest period's over. It's about time for round three. How loose up? The front squat. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha! Righty then. Too legit. Too legit to quit. And we're resting. Come on, warriors. There you go, Heather. Look at that, with all the grace of a ballerina. Come on, Stila. Come on, Steve. Show me something. Okay, Warriors. We're coming up on the final round. <clears throat> now, this is, it's important to know when to end. The hardest thing about speed training is we don't often notice when our speed drops because you still feel like you're sprinting, but the, uh, but the overall performance will drop by 10, 15 percent, 20 percent, and it doesn't feel that much different to you. It still feels hard. So you have to pay attention. There's some, uh, there's some rules of reps that uh, Dan John came up with for strength training, speed training, power training, things like that. I'm not going to get into that, but I'll just tell you that we know right around this set, it's going to be the best that you got. So I helped you out. I kept talking. Give you a longer rest period so that you would be explosive and fast as we approach our last set. All right, finish strong, warriors. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah. Woo! Get some. Try Bob. Elbows high. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Okay. Come on, Rob. Better strong. Better strong. Fast, baby. Push it down. So, you might have noticed there's some metabolic activity going on. That's good. So, we're not just training our brains. We're training our bodies, our tendons, our hearts. Speaking of hearts, I heart core training. It's time to do some abs. We're gonna do planks. And we're gonna do shoulder taps. So it's a lot of core stability is the theme. Not just in one direction. We're gonna do anti-rotation, anti-flexion, lateral flexion, so the circuit is going to be in the format of a Tabata, meaning I'm going to go 20 seconds 
in the plank. Here. 20 seconds here. I'm going to switch. 20 seconds here. 20 seconds of tapping. Shoulders over the wrists. I'm not rotating. I'm keeping my legs flexed. At 20 seconds of the plank up down. Muy caliente. So, that's Italian or Spanish? I don't know. Thank you. So, we're going to go two times through the circuit. All right? Two times, double time. Did you say yes? Oh, dos. 20 seconds. Bob asked a good question because he wasn't listening. It's just 20 seconds. A good coach knows how to answer the question while simultaneously shaming the student. These are things they don't teach you. Coach school. Coach school. Just kidding. All right, Warriors. Down. Start. Two, two, two. OK. Starting in three. We're doing the plank first. I'll be, again, if you want to see the perfect demonstration, watch Rob. But I'll also be demonstrating. Starting in three. Two. Boom, we're moving. So we're here, feet and knees together, squeezing the glutes, not moving. Just like this pandemic, it goes on, for, it goes on forever. Nothing changes, same thing every day. Just hold tight, breathe. You are not hallucinating. This will end. And there you go. We're on the side. You have five seconds to transition to your side plank. Jasmine, we're not going yet. I love the motivation though. Now we're up. Head back, butt forward. Make a fist on the ground. That's right. Enjoy the burn. If you're like me, it's really hard on one side and for some reason not too hard on the other. We don't know why. We don't know how that works. Bodies are mysterious. All right. Now we're going to the other side. Again, just breathe. Three, oh, we're going. Head back, butt up. Feeling that burn in the obliques. You're trying to get your hips close to the ceiling. Close to the ceiling. Creating that C shape. Just driving in that oblique. Whew. Head back, Josh. Don't forget to make this look good for camera. Okay, going to the shoulder tap. Again. Now, my shoulder's gonna be forward of the wrists. Feet apart, and I'm tapping. I'm just sitting here, breathing, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs, walking tall, having a firm handshake. All day, every day, looking good, like I should, out of B, Hollywood. All right, now we're going plank up down. We didn't get enough shoulder, we're gonna juice the shoulder here. We're starting on the ground, we're gonna go up, and down. I'm up. I'm down. I'm up. I'm down. Keep going. Hips stay at the same height as the shoulders. We don't want to be all over the place. We want to be consistent. We want to stay up. We'll come back down. Hips stay at the same height as the shoulder the whole time. Okay. Yeah. All right. 10 second break. We're going back to the plank. Last set. Last set. Time to finish strong, warriors. We're here in the plank, squeezing the shoes together, squeezing the knees together. We're almost home. I can smell the bacon. I can smell the coffee. We just gotta get through this. We just gotta win. Breathe, breathe. Woohoo! It's too good. It's too good. We're coming to the side. Start on your weak side. Now you know what your weak side is, starting in three. Two, and we're up. Head back, hips high, squeezing the fist on the ground, elevating. That's right, Heather. This is how Heather sleeps. She goes to bed just like this. I gotta practice. Josh gonna make me do a plank tomorrow. I'm gonna make him look like a fool. I'm gonna look like a fool. And we're switching. Come back to the other side. Five, four, Three, 
two, and we're up. Going, going, going. Head back. Making that fist. Almost home, warriors. Keep that hip to the sky. Cinching up that oblique. Three, two, one. Shoulder taps. We're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong, starting in two, one, and we're shoulder tapping. Feet wide, tapping. When you reach up for the tap, hips shouldn't move, Bob, like a rock, like a rock, like a Chevy. Or is that a Ford? Chevy. Like a Chevy. Two, one. All right. Plank up downs. Last it. This is the this is the test. Remember, Halusa! All day. Always got a little bit more to give. Always got a little bit more juice in the tank. Always got a little bit more time, a little bit more energy, a little bit more love. I'm gonna stay up a little bit later to make Rob a smoothie. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that because I love Rob. I'm gonna make Rob a smoothie. Thank you, timer. We are done with you. All right. I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today about gratitude, about hard work, about Reba's healing hands, about Heather's neighborhood. I feel like we all got something from this that uh, we didn't have before. So. I'm feeling a lot of gratitude for each and every one of you. <clears throat> Hormone class, 11 a.m. We're going to talk about stress, recovery, all the good stuff and the bad stuff. Bad stuff. Uh, great work, everybody. Continue to go forth with gratitude. Bring forth the warrior within. That's right, that's right, that's right. Good work, everybody. I forgot about the homework. I think everyone's fine with that. The homework was the, t was the stuff for the test. Yeah. It's, it's not at home. I, yeah, yeah. It's inside the class. It's just the, it's just the, yeah, it's just the work.